Welcome back to Just Shake or Steer. My name is George and today I have a cocktail called Midnight Cocktail. Yes, another short drink using only three ingredients. I'm trying to be as much simple as possible during this time and present to you a very simple drinks which don't require much uh, ingredients in them. So, today we have cocktail based on apricot brandy liqueur with some orange liqueur and lemon juice. That's all it is. The original cocktail, uh, the original recipe which I found in one of my books, it's, uh, it states inside it needs to be used uh, curacao, but I don't have curacao except the blue one. And in this cocktail with apricot brandy, the blue one it won't work because mixing the blue with the brown uh, I don't think the color is gonna be very pleasant on the other hand uh, Curacao it's orange liqueur so you can absolutely swap with any orange liqueur I was thinking to go with Grand Marnier but Grand Marnier is very powerful in flavor so that's why I'm sticking with a Cointreau instead of Grand Marnier because Cointreau have more subtle orange flavor which we, will help the, the apricot brandy to stand out. Otherwise if you put too much uh, too strong orange flavor this may overpower the apricot brandy and uh, it will be good for drinking definitely but we want to have the, this brandy like an apricot test from the cocktail. So let's start making it before it's too late and my ice melt. Yeah, it's very hot here. I don't know how it's where you are, but here it's... Uh, outside it's not that hot, it's probably around 12 degrees. But because my bar is in uh, my conservatory, and obviously you can imagine what's happened when the sun go out. Uh, inside at the moment it's probably going to 25. And I don't have any open windows, uh, just because of the noise. So we're getting really hot here. Right. Apricot brandy, I'm using both apricot brandy liqueur, that's what I have, and again, use whatever you have. 25 ml of the apricot brandy going in your shaker. As I say, it's based on apricot brandy, so this is gonna be your proper based spirit. The orange, it's two teaspoons I uh, will go uh, because it's old book and uh, old measurements it's coming like in teaspoons or tablespoons which is quite cool but who use them anymore all right so I'm gonna go with 10 mil of the control and because it's my what is it yeah probably have another five mil inside and that's it my control it's gone shopping time Let's hope I can get one delivered. For now, the delivery is still running here in UK. Uh, we don't know for how long. And we go with 10 ml of lemon juice, freshly squeezed lemon juice. Well, the cocktail is very small, and I'm I'm prepared with this martini glass. And I think that's gonna be like halfway through. And this made me realizing that. I have around probably 60 glasses in my bar here and I don't have anything like a very small except the, a month ago or maybe more I popped to a charity shop and I found some vintage glasses and yeah let me grab one I think that's what we're gonna do right I'm just here on camera but I'm here my cupboard it's down on the side so there you go I found this and it's quite it's quite funky nice I don't know which year it is but it's a vintage glass let's try with that so midnight cocktail let's drop the ice obviously when we put the ice it will dilute a little bit of cocktail but not that much to fill up a martini glass if you have a small martini glass or a very small coupe glass it will work fantastic I don't have one at the moment, so I will just go with this vintage glass. Let's shake. Lovely. It's 
smells beautiful actually. Oh yes, I love apricot brandy. I mean, I don't know if you ever try, uh, if you ever open a cocktail book or kind of read about cocktails, uh, you see so many cocktails using apricot brandy. It's because of the nice flavor and the dryness and it's just a wonderful ingredient for a cocktail and it's working pretty much with every spirit. So it's like a very versatile. Right. Let's put in the glass. Yeah, look at that, that's perfect. Oh yes. That's the perfect glass. Thanks to the charity shops. Smells fantastic. Oh my. Ah, oh, I want to have a full jar, please. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. I'm a big fan of apricot and peaches and all these kind of fruits. And uh, ugh, it's like you're drinking apricot juice with the, there is some zesty coming from the lemon and it just make your palate just want more and more, you know, like when you try something nice and you just start like a, a want more and more, it's exactly like that. A lovely touch from the control because of the smooth orange flavor. I, I think originally, like I say, it's done with uh, triple sec or uh, no curacao, and uh, I think that it's working better because it depends on the curacao we're using. If you use a dry orange, it maybe work fine, but maybe too dry. I, I don't know. It's just beautiful. Yes, I just want to down it. But I won't now because I want to take a picture first of it uh, to go on my Instagram and obviously make the thumbnail for YouTube and then I'm gonna down it, I promise. My name is George and this is Just Shake or Steer. You just watch another video and another wonderful cocktail find in the books, the Midnight Cocktail. This is it. Uh, I don't see any point of garnish here again. And sustainable cocktails, why not? Uh, I know it's nice to have a little bit of garnish, but with this small glass I don't see what else I can put. Maybe if you have a, like a fresh apricot, you can stick a little slice inside, like inside in the drink, not even on the rim, just inside. It could work nice, but I'll just have it like that. So yeah, again, my name is George, this is Just Shake or Steer. Like and subscribe guys, leave me a comment. Let's start the conversation and uh, tell me what you're doing, how the thing's going on with your uh, neck of the wood and uh, how's this relation working for you because we have to talk about it. I said uh, before, there's, there's nothing wrong about, you know, talking about the, the situation because we are all in, for once, the whole world is in, in the same boat. So yeah, let me know what's happening and uh, again, like and subscribe. It, it's very important for me, I will appreciate it. And if you want to follow on Instagram, come and say hi. Uh, yeah, stay safe guys. I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.